Hello, welcome YouTube. I am Pan from Panban Gaming, and we will be reviewing Crypt of the Necrodancer from Brace Yourself Games. This game's pretty unique and a pretty awesome fun play, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, as you'll notice, the main menu is configured by staircases, and everything has a text label. And as we go right into the game, we'll notice that this is kind of like Dance Dance Revolution and The Legend of Zelda had a baby. Fun times. <laughs> Alright, so, as you can notice, you'll move around and uh, beat people up to the beat, pretty much. And as we get into that sweet, crunchy, destructible action using that bomb over there, we'll uh, continue on playing the game. Now, as far as combat is concerned, you uh, move into the enemies and, get this, you do damage every time you move into them. However, they can also do damage to move into you. This is what you have to watch out for and maintain your strategic thinking as you keep going along. Now, the items in this game do pretty get pretty interesting, as with the sunglasses I just collected. So, anyway, moving on. The difficulty of this game is pretty high, so there's a really high learning curve. This one thing you need to watch out for is as the game progresses, the difficulty gets really insane as the speed levels are cranked way up and the enemies get much harder. As each level progresses, you will be given a new song, as well as new enemies to fight. The game does not play the same each time, in fact, each dungeon is controlled by a random number generator. So, each seed you put into the game will give you a different dungeon, and you can come up with unique seeds that you can place into the game in order to play a specific dungeon each time you play. Now, I have to say myself that this game actually is a nice touch of light-hearted disco fun that also can take itself very seriously when it wants to. In fact, the game's hard at the bottom and tells you the BPM and keeps you in sync. Though I find it very easy to also move to the beat in order to keep myself in sync of the game. Now, each enemy moves in a specific, unique pattern, and memorizing these patterns becomes very important as you play the game. Between levels, you also get shops which you can visit and get items from chests, allowing you to progress even easier and have more fun playing while you beat down to the beat. As I am very music inclined, this game actually scratches a couple itches for me and is quite a very fun game to play. I enjoy myself playing this game to a very high extent. I do have to say that I do enjoy the game's uh, mechanic of mixing a few modern items in with mostly, you know, fantasy ones. But it's icing on the cake. This game is all over enjoyable. Now, as you can see from here, you get a warning when the song nears ending. The beat bars will turn red and tell you that, of course, the song is ending. If you stay beyond the end of the song in a particular level, it will just shunt you to the next level without uh, making you beat the boss. If you haven't beat them already, it'll place you in an arena which has unbreakable walls as for your level of dig. Of course, you can always bypass these walls with the titanium shovel. Now, if you can't tell, I really do suck at this game, but I'm not going to let that bias my judgment at all. I mean, this game is really, really fun to play. There are those of you out there that could say that it hammers home the point of the game's difficulty, which is extremely high. Now, a feature I forgot to touch on is the game's coin multiplier, which is displayed at the bottom below the red beating heart you see in the center of the screen, nice there and important. The coin multiplier not only does it give you a visual representation of how much coins you will be receiving from enemies multiplied by the number displayed. It also gives you multiplier-based damage for some of the in-game items and multiplier-based defense for another one of the in-game's items. It's really handy and also gives you this nice disco floor effect too, which is always a nice feature to have. Now, in order to play this game for the first time, you will be asked to calibrate the game via the in-game options. Just do it once and you're pretty much set. Calibrating it pretty much makes it into the best matched experience for your machine. What the calibration does is it actually makes sure that the game's internal engine displays the beats at the right time and makes sure that you react at the right time for those beats in order to deliver the best experience possible on any machine with any delay from its sound equipment. 
Of course, visually, this is still very impressive, and talking about it is even more impressive. Now, I have to touch on the fact that in this game, bats suck. They have a random movement pattern, and it's hard to protect where they go, so entirely memorizing patterns for this game doesn't exactly help you very much at all. Now, when you collect health items, those are very invaluable for continuing your game, as, kind of like Gauntlet the Dark Descent, you will need them in order to continue your game for long periods of time. If you use them all up, of course, you are going to end your game prematurely. Like Diablo, collecting equipment in this game is basically the best way to proceed. In order to get farther and gain more and more gold to progress through the game, you will need to collect more equipment, and better equipment. Looking at this game right now, you might not be able to tell that it's actually modded, but I actually do have a mod installed which changes up the main character. Well, I will be playing as a dragon, pretty much. But the retro 2D look, I understand, is not for everyone. Not many people appreciate the old school look of games like this. Of course, the game itself is not for everyone, so please do take a look at the game more closely before you buy it on your Steam library, or whatever system you might be able to play it with. As far as I know, it's only on Steam and is only playable on PC. However, playing it with a controller is very enjoyable. To sum up, this game is very fun and is a rhythm beat-em-up, so please do enjoy the game if you do buy it. Or don't, hate on it and make some ranting review. Anyway, this is Pan from Panban Gaming signing off. Thanks for watching.